Hello, thank you for joining this video. Here we'd like to explore the Mega Menu Images block. So we would like to begin with our game theme uh, demo store in the theme style The Lace. And as you can see here, we have these menus and we are interested in this one specific, which is the Mega Menu with images. So as you can see, we have four images in here. And now we'll go to our theme customizer to try and recreate this specific menu block. So we go to our theme customizer here. We need to go to home page and here into the header. So here we click on add block and now we need to choose the mega menu images. So now once we've done this, let's click on the menu. First of all, we need to add the menu handle and keep in mind that in handle format, all letters must be in lowercase and white space replaced with dash. So now we go to our Shopify admin panel and here are all of the menus that we have. So let's connect the new in menu to this one. So here we need to type in the name and since everything should be in lowercase and white space replaced with dash, we just simply need to type new dash in. Next, we can also add the badges. So for example, as in our demo store, as you can see, we have this new badge and we can easily add the same from here. So we need to type in the name of our badge. We can choose the badge text color and also the badge background color. If you want to change the color, we just simply need to click in here and enter the CSS code of our color. You can easily find out the code of the color by just Googling the name and color code. So for example, we have this green color code and here are several examples. You can of course go to websites to see the actual color swatches, but in here, let's just enter uh, this, this in here. Give, it, give me just a second. Uh, so, okay, now we have our color. Uh, let's leave the text color in white. And here is our text. We have the new in badge text. So next we'll need to add the media items. So keep in mind that maximum um, images that we can add are four images. So of course you can add simply one, two or three images or all of four images, but no more than four. And besides from simply images, we can also add products. So as you can see, if you select a product, then a product card will be displayed instead of an image with text. So for our menu here, we'll add two images and two products. So now let's begin by adding our first image. So for example, um, we've named this menu as new in and we'd like to showcase new collections or new items in these collections. So let's choose this image here. And next, as you can see, we need to add this label and heading. So here in the label, let's um, type in new in. In the heading, let's name our collection name. So for example, we've added the image of the blazer. So let's add blazer and in the link, keep in mind that you can of course add external links, just simply copy the URL link and paste it in here. Or you can connect it with your collections, products, pages, blog, blogs, blog posts, and so on. So for our example, we've chosen the blazers collection. So let's connect it with the collection here and let's choose blazers. So now our first image is linked with the blazers collection. And we can also add the link label like the button label. So for example, we can add shop now or we can just simply remove uh, this text from here. And for now, we will skip the add products as our media item three and four will be products. So now let's also add the media item two. Let's click on select image. And let's now look through the images that we can add. Let's add this t-shirt, for example, and let's add the same text as we did before. Here we'll enter new in. In the heading, let's name it t-shirts. And we'll also connect it with the collection for our t-shirts. So simply click here, choose the collection. And in the link label, let's leave it blank here. So that we can just see the example of how it looks like. So we just simply need to remove this text from here. And now let's save our changes. And let's take a look at how this menu looks with only two images. So once our changes are saved, we just simply click here and go to view. 
that was just for the customizer sometime and now as you can see we already see our menus uh, so we see our new in badge as you can see the color is the same that we've added and the uh, text is the same and now as you can see we see these two images so since we've added links to these images when we hover on, on them they zoom in we see the text that we've added the heading blazer t-shirts and here as you can see for the first example we've added uh, the link label shop now but of course you can click on the image itself and on this link label and for this example we've left this link label as blank so this is why we do not see any text in here and now for our third and fourth example let's add the product so in this media item 3 we don't need to enter any of this information as if you select a product a product card will display instead of an image with text so we just simply need to scroll down to the product and let's select our product so for example we want to add a skirt just enter the name of the product in here let's choose any of our products click on select and now we just need to do the same for the media item four we don't need to enter any of these details just simply go to the product and in here let's just add um, a top for example so let's now choose any product of which we have in here we've added this needed crop top and now let's save our changes and once again let's take a look at our store how it looks like with four images but only two of them are actual images and the third and the fourth example are products so we need to hover on the new in and as you can see here are our images but in here we have our products so as you can see we just simply click on the product and it leads us to this specific product however when we click on these t-shirts or blazers so if we click on t-shirts we go to the t-shirt collection so this is just simply how you add the mega menu images block you can add actual images and you can add the product cards you can add maximum four images but you can choose to add only one two or three images or product cards and this is it if you have any questions feel free to contact our support team we are always here to help you and if you have any questions you can also check out our theme menu there is all of this information listed as well. Thank you very much for your time. Take care. Bye.